KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Changes, changes, changes coming our way. Uh, today, a nice day, still upper 50s uh, to middle 60s through Santa Cruz County. Coldest spots up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, uh, 58 to 64 across the peninsula. Everybody had the sunshine going and light winds, 63 to 67. Salinas Valley, the big winners in terms of the warmest temps, 63 to 64. Not much of a range in the Santa Clara Valley. Uh, we had 48 in Tahoe, so kind of a mild afternoon. Temperatures back down to 31, though, already. And mostly 50s all the way through Southern California for highs. They were doing rain from yesterday, last night, and through early this morning. 31 now, again, back at the lake. 51 Sacramento, mostly 50s. You got a 60 in San Diego, and that's pretty much it. Vegas, 46, and they've had some rain. 18 Bismarck, 17 Boise, 29 in Denver. Plenty winter-like and snow flying in a lot of spots, even in places you don't normally think about, like Albuquerque, New Mexico. We got snow through parts of the deserts and uh, some rain in the lowlands. 30s, 20s in Bismarck tomorrow, 35 in Chicago if you're traveling. So again, a lot of cold spots, but nothing below zero. And a 38 in Seattle for tomorrow, so that's pretty chilly. Here's your winter weather, though. Again, Two pulses, really. One coming up from Southern California into parts of the deserts, parts of Colorado, almost the entire state of Utah getting some snow with this. And then that system that'll sweep in through our neighborhood and then work its way into the central part of the country uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night. So again, just east of Seattle, you know, all of the uh, real estate basically through parts of uh, Washington into almost all of Idaho. Uh, you get again into Utah, the entire state, looking at winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings. And you got blizzard warnings up in the Dakotas. So again, check ahead on your air travel here next 24 to 48 hours. There goes the rain. That one's done. So Southern California drying out before they get another shot of rain by tomorrow evening. Here's our system. You can see the clouds here. We got cold air, though that is sweeping down with this one. So this is not the atmospheric river coming from Hawaii. This is not a warm system. Rain off the coast right now, that's headed our way, and so is the cold, uh, which would be good again for making some snow there up in Tahoe. You can see the rain pushes in overnight. So by tomorrow morning, it's raining already for us. The area of low pressure starts to swing further inland and further south. All of Southern California gets in on this, and they will see snow in the southern parts of the Sierra as well. This is tomorrow at 6 p.m. So again, still the bulk of this is off to our east by then, but we're still seeing some showers. Southern California is still doing some rain on Saturday morning and showers developing along the coast. It looks like Saturday morning for us, and we will take a closer look at this. There's another system quickly coming in the, on the heels of that late Christmas day. Most of the models you can see just kind of graze us with this one. Keep it off the coast. This is Sunday 2 p.m., so this is Christmas afternoon. And then Christmas night, we may get clipped by a few showers, especially right at the coast. That's going to be your best chances. But again, we're going to have to watch this. If it wobbles a little bit, we could be into a steadier rain late Christmas day through Christmas night. After that, things are going to be quiet. Again, the timing on the rain and the wind, because wind's going to be a bit of a factor with this one, too. You can see the winds, they start ramping up very quickly. You can see your strongest winds with the front here over and off in the ocean and then over the peninsula, uh, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and then coming out of the Salinas Valley in a southeasterly direction. We're into the moderate to heavy rain in the morning. Late morning, there's your wind shift. You see the southerly wind still ahead of the front, shifting to the west, but also strong winds behind this as the rain pushes on through. Later in the day, we see scattered showers. Snow levels are dropping down to about 2,500 feet. So places up in the Santa Lucia's could certainly see uh, dusting or maybe even a couple of inches. It depends how much moisture is left over. It's going to be cold enough for snow up in the higher peaks. So we'll see how it plays out. Either way, the wind is in and the cold will be in for Christmas Day. Your forecast for tonight, 41 to 45, increasing clouds, rain becoming likely by morning. Tomorrow, cloudy, rain, chance of a thunderstorm. Could see some hail with any of those thunderstorms. Of course, gusty winds and temperatures only in the 50s tomorrow. We got 53 in San Francisco, uh, middle 50s for all the valleys after overnight lows in the 40s. I think the bulk of the rain is going to be early in the day and late in the day. We'll be talking about scattered, numerous, heavy showers up in the hills. Snow levels going down about 2,500 feet. Maybe a dusting up in Bonnie Dune. Maybe we'll see. They're at about 2,000. It would be, yeah, probably not quite that low, but it could get close. Uh, Sunday looks dry again for Christmas Day. Highs only in the 40s and 50s. We rebound next week with 50s and 60s, and overnight lows mostly 30s and 40s. All right, very good. Yeah. Okay. Weather quiz.